ten nine eight seven six five four three two one zero. Do you believe in life on other planets? Uh, oh yes, there's not much question at all. But there's life throughout the universe. We're not alone in the universe at all. You convinced that we're not alone in the universe? Oh, I know for sure we're not alone in the universe. Now, have we been able to identify for sure where the other planets are? No, we have not. Certainly not in our solar system. But、uh, they've identified quite a number of planets now that very likely could be life-bearing planets. And、uh, I happen to be privileged enough to have、uh, be in on the fact that we have been visited on this planet, and the UFO phenomenon is real, although it's been covered up by our governments for quite a long time. <laughs> Whoa! Hang and, on a minute. Well, this is big.、Uh, so, I, 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 whoa! This, this is this, all of this is quite a shock to me. Well, I'm sorry. You haven't been reading the paper recently. It's starting to open up quite a bit. So you're telling me? <laughs> well, there's a lot of information to take on board. Hang on a minute.、Um, I, I mean, listen. I've I've heard like、uh, you know crazy UFO nuts tell me this kind of thing before. I've never had Doctor Ed Mitchell, uh, uh, you know,、uh, the sixth man to walk on the moon,、uh, a respected scientist in his own right,、uh, announce to me that that we've been visited by. Aliens from、uh, other planets, and that they they definitely are out there. There's no debating it. Well, that's the first time you've ever talked to me, or I've told you about it before. <laughs> so, so you you believe in all of you believe the、uh, the whole the well, whole no, deal? There's more nonsense out there about this than there is real、uh, real knowledge. But there is it is a real phenomenon, and、uh, there's quite a few of us. There's, it's been well covered up by all of our governments、uh, for the last sixty years or so.、Uh, but slowly it leaks out, and、uh, some of us are privileged to have been briefed on some of it. Thousand miles into the flight, Mission Control did miss the significance of a cryptic message from Apollo 11. Do you have any idea where the、uh, where he is with respect to us? Am I? The crew required information on the current position of the S-4B, the final stage of the rocket which had been jettisoned away two days earlier. 
This short message hid an extraordinary turn of events. Apollo 11 wasn't alone in space. There is something out there that uh, was close enough to be observed, and uh, what could it be? Traveling alongside Apollo 11 was a mysterious object like this one, filmed on a later mission. If it wasn't part of their own rocket, it could only be one thing, a UFO. Mike decided he thought he could see it in the telescope, and he was able to do that. And when, when it was in one position, it had a series of ellipses. But when you made it real sharp, it was sort of L-shaped. That didn't tell us very much. NASA knew very little about um, the object reported by the Apollo 11 crew. It was obviously an unidentified flying object, but such objects were not uncommon. And the history of even Earth orbit space flights going back over the previous years indicated that several crews saw objects. Despite having a clear view of the UFO, the crew were wary of reporting it to mission control. Now, obviously, the three of us were not going to uh, blurt out, hey, Houston, we got something moving alongside of us, and uh, we don't know what it is. You know, can you tell us what it is? We weren't about to do that, because uh, we know that uh, the, those transmissions would be heard by all sorts of people, and uh, uh, who knows what somebody would have demanded that we uh, turn back because of aliens or whatever the reason is. So we, we didn't do that, but we did... Uh, decide we we just cautiously ask uh, Houston where how far away was the S4B unaware of the drama unfolding in space mission control radio the position back to Apollo 11 Apollo 11 Houston the S4B is about 6,000 nautical miles from you now over and a few moments later why well, they came back and said something like it was 6,000 miles away because of the maneuver. So we, we really didn't think we were looking at something that far away. So we decided uh, that after a while of watching it, uh, we, it was time to go to sleep and not to talk about it anymore until we came back and, and debriefing. To this day, whatever it was that the crew saw has never been positively identified or officially acknowledged. There were a lot of people within the program who went off later and became convinced that UFOs existed. And that led to some concern on NASA's part where they got the agreement of the crew never to publicly talk about these things for fear of ridicule. After this close encounter, the crew hoped for a good night's sleep. But they were in for a surprise. Another strange event would disturb them, not outside in the vastness of space, but right inside the spacecraft itself.
2002, just outside this city, over the town of Waldorf, Maryland, dozens of witnesses recorded an incredible scene. Multiple jet fighters chasing multiple large, unknown objects that were of blue and orange coloration. All the witnesses, two of whom I interviewed personally and several of whom spoke to national media, described the amazing performance and capability of these objects. The Air Force itself admitted that it had scrambled F-16s to investigate unknowns, which it had also admitted it had tracked on at least uh, one of these objects on radar. We also learned that the UFO simply disappeared from the radar. The Air Force conclusion was that it could have been, quote, any number of things. <laughs> 